You know, Stewie, I gotta say that clone of yours has come in pretty handy. I, uh, don't suppose you'd consider making one of those for me, would you? Oh, maybe. What would you be willing to do for me? What do you want? Take your index finger and your thumb and lightly grip the base of your tail. What? Lightly grip the base of your tail with your index finger and your thumb and then slide your fingers up the length of your tail to the tip. Why? Because that's what I asked you to do. It's kind of weird. Is this some kind of sexual thing? Nobody said anything about sexual. There's nothing sexual about it. I'm just asking you to perform a simple task. Take your index finger and your thumb and lightly grip the base of your tail and run your fingers along the length of your tail. You mean stroke it? Nobody used that word. This is not a stroking motion. This is a completely non-sexual thing I am asking you to do in a completely non-sexual way. Squeeze the base of the tail lightly with your thumb and index finger, and then, while continuing to squeeze, run them up the length of your tail to the tip, and I'll make you a clone. I only have to do it once? I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> I don't know why you stop it. Nobody told you to stop. Give me a little smile. Your lips look a little dry. Why don't you wet them a little bit? <laughs> oh, my God! You're so weird! All right, I'll make you a clone, buddy. I'll tell you, my life was so dominated by that baby. I'm glad she's gone. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta make a decision and go with it. Like when I decided to try that radical penis enlargement. Peter, I don't think... Ryan, your objections are duly noted. Now hit the gas! <laughs> You know that would never work again in a million years. Don't need it to, Brian. It'll be fine. We shouldn't let this ruin our night. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! You've been fiddling with that ham radio for seven weeks. Take a shower. I can barely get any reception on this stupid thing. So far, the only station that comes in is some British guys reading news from places I'm not sure exist. Today, in Kazakhstan, a peaceful demonstration turned to bloodshed as members of the Tuzili tribe flooded Kenpao Square in remembrance of the third anniversary of the Holmesburg Massacre. But finally, some good news out of neighboring Kanduzi, as locals there have reached an uneasy alliance with the bordering Trolika Bubsy Wubsy Dal. And now with sports, here's Frampton Tromwibbler. From the world of sport, the Coynton Spinky Wompers flumped the flowing, boing Welfenklompers, 70 fluff to 40 flave. At the tone, the time will be 26 Railroad. I'm not sure about any of that. Hey, Chris, you want to practice kissing again? I'm busy. I set up a video camera last night so I can prove to Mom and Dad that the evil monkey is real, and I want to see what I got. Oh, nothing. They've got to be here somewhere. Where's my first lieutenant? Here I am, sir. Yes, sir. Right indeed. Here indeed. Yes, I am, sir. I want you to turn this settlement upside down until you find Lady Redbush and Griffin Peterson. That fat bastard thinks he can steal my bride and get away with it? I wouldn't bet a corn farthing on him escaping. No, I wouldn't. Not a corn farthing would I bet. No, sir. What's wrong with you? Little wrong in the head I am from eating some bad sausages. Yes, the bad sausages that I eat indeed, sir. Yes, I did some bad sausages, ain't I?